Step number five on our cross-country flight plan is to draw a line on our sectional chart. And then we're going to end up filling in our nav log. So in order to draw our line on the sectional chart, we want to open it the proper way. So if you remember in a prior video, we talked about um, that we have the proper sectional chart. Um, it's current. That's very important. And this one is covering the Atlanta area. And we are up here on the northeast side. So when I open the chart, it says I can open it to the south or I can open it to the north. So I'm going to open it to the north side and go all the way toward the east. And there I will find Charlotte. I'll find Greer. And here we are at the Greenville Downtown Airport. We have Asheville up here in the mountain area. Now, um, I've selected an airport that, on purpose, is on the other side of the chart. It seems to be a mystery how we draw a line from this side straight over to the other side of the chart if I don't have two charts. Well, on the beginning fold, they give you directions of how you can get your line from one side to the other. So if you forget what I'm teaching you, that's available for you to look at, at for another time. What they want you to do is to first realize that part of the chart is going to overlap from this side to the other side. For example, I see the Greenwood Airport right here, and if I flip to the other side of the chart, I also see the Greenwood Airport here. What I can do is I can take a piece of paper and line it up with my longitude line, and then I can just mark on this piece of paper the airport I'm departing from. Here's Greenville. And then because I know that Greenwood repeats on the other side, I'm going to mark the Greenwood Airport. Then I'm going to flip the chart over, place my piece of paper to match it up. So here's my longitudinal line to keep my paper straight. And then I can either put this just underneath it or I can lay it on top. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to slide it underneath here and match those airports up. So now I have my longitudinal line matched up and I have the airport on top of where I drew it. Now I can make a straight line from Greenville Airport down here to the Columbia Airport. So I just need some sort of straight edge. And then I'll line this up. And then I want to draw a pretty heavy dark line with a pencil so I can see it easily while I'm flying along. And then I'm paying attention, where did my pencil line cross? There's a number here with a little antenna that says 972. So I can take that repeat portion and just draw a line from the 2 up to my departure airport. So here again is that 2. And we'll draw a line to our airport. Now, I don't want to take my line lower than the two because I don't want to add that, that mileage in twice. So wherever it repeats is where I want to pick it up on the other side. I'm just going to make this a little bit darker so we can see it easily. Okay. And that's how you draw your line from one side of the chart to the other.